runaway Katie. It was a sunny day on the island of Sodor, and Thomas was getting his empty truck ready to go to the coaling plant when he saw sad Katie with Toodle. What's wrong, Katie? You don't look happy today. Katie explained to Thomas that Toodle needs to be repainted at the Sodor Steamworks. Can you look after Katie for me, Thomas? asked Toodle. Of course I will, smiled Thomas. She can come with me to the coaling plant. That made Katie very happy. Thank you, Thomas, smiled Katie. Toodle told Thomas that he needs to listen to Katie's instructions. Make sure you take good care of her, okay, Thomas? Don't worry, Toodle, I will, Thomas promised. Katie was covered at the end of Thomas's trucks and they set off to the coaling plant. Thomas and Katie will have a grand day out as they were on their way to the coaling plant. Percy and Toby were there when Thomas arrived with Katie. Hello Thomas, I see Katie's helping you today. She sure is, and I promised to to look after her, said Thomas. Percy was part of his friend, and so was Toby. Then, the foreman came to see Thomas. Sir Topham Hare needs you to deliver the coal to Brandon Docks, he said. Yes, sir, answered Thomas, as the coal was loaded onto his trucks. Thomas and Katie were making good progress, and they were on track and on time. We're almost there, Katie, called Thomas. We just need to go over Gordon's Hill, and we'll be on our way to the docks. Thomas was going too fast. Katie was being bounced and bumped all over the place. Thomas, slow down. This track is really bumpy, she called. I can't. If I slow down, we'll be late. But if you go at this speed, something bad will happen. And Katie was right. Just as Thomas got to the top of Gordon's Hill, the coupling snapped. And Katie is rolling away. Help me, Thomas, yelled Katie. Send us an ashes. I'm coming, Katie, cried Thomas. Thomas pumped his pistons as he chased Katie down the track. I must help Katie. I must. Katie was out of control as she raced down the track. But then, she saw Gordon was taking on water. The fillman changed points just in time. Sorry, Gordon can't stop, called Thomas as he chased after Katie. Next, Katie sped past Percy. Bust my buffers! Don't just stand there, Percy! Stop Katie! I'm on it, called Percy as he went in front of Katie. Thomas buff up to help Percy, and together, they break as hard as they could. Phew! Are you alright, Katie? I am, and it's all thanks to you and Percy, said Katie. Tom felt very bad for not listening to Katie. I'm sorry that I went too fast, he said to Katie. No worries, Thomas, smiled Katie. I remember the day that Toot picked up some speed when we were being chased by a big boulder at Cave Town in Little Goldenbook Land. Thomas smiled, but then he looked at the time. Bust my buffers! I'm going to be late, he cried. The top of hat will be very cross. <laughs> Thomas arrived just in time. What took you so long? says the top of hat. Thomas told him about losing his train, and the big chase too. Don't be too hard on him, sir, said Katie. Thomas was just rescuing me, and he got here just in time. Sir so Top Hat was very pleased with Thomas. Well done, Thomas. You have saved Katie from a nasty accident. Thomas was delighted. A few weeks later, Toodle came back with a new coat of orange paint. Thomas and Katie were impressed. You look great, Toodle, smiled Thomas. Thanks, 
How was your day with Katie, Thomas? asked Toodle. It was fun, answered Thomas. Thanks for your help today, Katie. And thank you for saving me, Thomas, smiled Katie. And Thomas happily agreed as he went home to Tisma Sheds. <laughs> <laughs>